What is up you guys, Matt from Our Process, and guys, today, um, right now, I'm actually in uh, Oxford, Ohio, um, and the reason why I'm here, I don't know if you guys have been keeping updated with my Instagram stories at all, because I've been just documenting basically this whole entire journey on my Instagram story, and I'm, I'm probably going to be saying that a lot in this video, and the reason why I'm here um, is for college visits, college tours, I'm just trying to find the college um, that works best for me and my future and my journey, um, and, and, and that's like trying to, that's kind of why I'm here because next year I'm actually or like this upcoming year I'm actually gonna be a senior and then right after that I'm, I'm gonna be going to college and stuff and I kind of have to make you know my decision for where I want to go you know probably by um, I have to start applying probably in these next couple weeks um, and I probably won't get so start getting responses until December November and stuff like that so I, I'm starting to look at colleges I and mean, I've been looking at colleges basically this entire summer and stuff um, but yeah, guys, I mean, I, I wanted to talk about something that was really um, cool, and I just want to talk about, you know, basically this whole little experience that I had, just, you know, touring these two, these two colleges that I went to, um, and one of them was Indiana at Bloomington, um, and that was in the state, that was in the state of Indiana at Bloomington, and it's a university there, and the second college that I went to was Miami of Ohio University, um, and that's where I am right now, Oxford, Ohio, um, but basically, guys, yeah, you know, I want to talk about what I felt about those two colleges, and how, you know, the, the and, and and how those colleges kind of, um, like how, how those colleges kind of made me feel. I just want to talk about the overall experience I had visiting these colleges, visiting their business programs, visiting their you know entrepreneurship programs as well, and seeing you know how it fits in it for me and my shoes and stuff. So. Um, I want to start off with Miami of Ohio, which I was actually just at today. I want to talk a little bit about that, not too much. Um, but, you know, the, the city of Oxford, where that university is, it's super, super tiny. It's a big college town, but it's a really small town itself. Like, there's a bunch of partying and stuff, which is, you know, not really, not really what I'm into and whatnot. But, I mean, it's something that I can get past. Um, and I went and I went and I saw the business program and their business school that they had. Um, and I'll show you guys a picture of that right now. Um, but it was absolutely beautiful. I mean, like this was definitely one of the prettiest business schools I've ever seen, honestly, like that I've ever visited. Even um, I went inside. It honestly looked like a hotel in my eyes. It was so beautiful, like the entire thing. Um, and, and you know, we did a tour of the whole. We did a tour of the whole campus, and we did a tour of um, basically the entire business school. Into the specifics of the business school, like you know, there was a lot of opportunity there it was you know really really you know really world-class business program and stuff um, the only thing that I really didn't like about that business school um, was that they didn't really have um, a very good they didn't really have a great you know entrepreneurship program and and, and the thing is is like um, and the thing is is like you know going into this like I thought that they did have a really great program and then you know I talked more with the guy that was you know helping us and touring us around the business school and I was talking to him about you know hey you know like how how was entrepreneurs treated you know at this business school like are they supported very well I um, mean honestly you know he, he said to me it was like you know um, like you know it, it's great that like if you want to start your own business and whatnot but honestly, um, like, you know, this is what you should do. You know, you should get out of college and get some experience first, and that's what we're training you to do. And, I mean, like, yes, that's that's definitely a path, but I don't obviously think, like, that's the only path. And, you know, and I don't really know if that's my full intent of, uh, of, of going to... And I don't really know if that's my full intent of, of, of going to college is just to you know get the degree and get a job and get some experience. Like I don't really know how my path how my path is going forward, but I, I just know that I, I wanna start, you know, some sort of a business during my college years just because I, I just love that experience and like I said, like I'm doing it right now in high school. I cannot stop. It's just like something that I just find giving me so much happiness in my life. Um, and, and honestly, like, I, I just see myself doing that in college and just getting, getting like a little team and just starting it and stuff. And I feel like you know, that's what I'm kind of called to do. Um, and, and, the, and the fact that like the college doesn't really support that too much and the fact that you know, they kind of have like this set plan for you is not really what I'm 100% you know, interested in. And that's what they were kind of talking about at Miami of Ohio. And like, like I said, like, you know, beautiful business school, ton of opportunities for people that are, you know, like marketing or finance or, you know, that whole world and whatnot. Um, but honestly, like, like I said, like, I love that stuff, but, you know, they didn't even have entrepreneurship as a major, you know what I'm saying? They only had it as a minor and a co-major, which is like not something that you can actually pursue or, or, or you, know, you can take classes in it, but it's not like the main thing that you're 
doing. Um, and, and, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do entrepreneurship as a major and as something to actually go in on. Um, and that I can, you know, 100% dial down in, you know, and how to, how to learn how to start a business, how to, how to run a business, how to make a team, like how to, how to do this, how to get investors, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff, like I want to be able to do and not having the college support me on that process, progress. Um, it's not something that I need, but it's something that really helps. And I think, um, you know, th that was lacking in, uh, and, and that support was kind of lacking at Miami of Ohio. And that kind of made me a little disappointed and whatnot. And, and so that was Miami of Ohio, guys. And, and I really, um, and I wanted to, I, I kind of used that as a preface. And I wanted to talk about that school so I can compare it to the Indiana at Bloomington. Um, and so, so that's what I'm going to be talking about right now. The University of Indiana at Bloomington, like, I really can't describe the feeling that I had, but um, I mean, to be completely honest, like right in the beginning, like like I'm not a, I'm not a huge college town guy. Like I don't really like you know the whole college town thing. Like I love big cities and big you know big atmospheres and you know hustle everywhere and stuff like that. Like that's why I toured Boston a couple uh, a couple months ago and stuff and during the spring. Um and I you know I absolutely love that and whatnot. But I just never saw myself at a uh, you know at a college town. Um and, and going to the University of Indiana like. Like that being basically my first college town that I was visiting, it was a little weird at first. Like I wasn't used to it, um, and like I just I just didn't know how I felt about it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I always felt like I didn't like it, but I didn't know how I felt. You know, so I was going into this like kind of hesitant already. Um, but then I, I you know I went to the college tour the next day because you know we flew in that day, um, and then we stayed the night, and then we did the college tour and the in the business tour. Um, you know that the very next day. You guys, sorry for the whole you know change of position right now. I just got out of my hotel room just so. I can, you know, just so my dad doesn't have to hear me making this video. Um, but yeah, I'm just outside of the hotel room, just like, you know, just chilling the, just chilling the old, uh, in the old, what is this called? The hotel hall, the hall, the room, the floor. Yeah, I'm just chilling. So basically, guys, like, you know, to, to get back to what I was saying, like, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't really know how I was gonna feel about the whole college town environment. But then, you know, I, 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 you know, I go to the tour. Obviously, this whole time I'm a little hesitant walking into a city that has a hundred thousand people, opposed to where I live that has like a million people in just my city alone. It was a little weird, obviously. And they did this, you know, informational session beforehand. I learned more about the university at Bloomington. I just learned more about the school in general. You know, what they provide, the opportunities. You know, the whole stats, the numbers. You know, stuff like that. All that stuff you can. Read really you know get online like all that information but I was really just banking on the um I was really banking on a tour like around the campus to you know feel the, in the feel the whole environment out and obviously um yeah so so basically the informational thing ends and then we go to um we, we then we do the whole like campus tour and we, you know we, so we start walking around and whatnot but like I said I'm a little hesitant cuz cuz I'm like you know there's such a small town or whatever like such a small like little you know uni like university and whatnot um, but you know, I'm walking around, uh, and I'm like, you know, this is like, this isn't so bad. You know, and being able to feel that as I was walking through this campus just made me feel as if as if I belonged there. Um, and, 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 and like, obviously guys, like I didn't, I, and I, the thing is I didn't fully feel, you know, that feeling of homeness and feeling of 100% peace until we saw the business school. And, and before, and before I go into that, like, I just want to talk a little bit more about the whole campus. Like it was really cool because I'm a huge nature guy. I love, um, you know, I, I love going out in nature and just, you know, just being with nature and just like, you know, just chilling out and thinking and just letting my thoughts take me to amazing places. Um, but I feel like nature allows me to be able to do that. Um, you know, so, so, you know, the, the nature there was beautiful. Like it was a very, very outdoor campus. You know what I'm saying? Um, like it was so cool. Cause like 10 miles, you know, a couple miles away, there were trails that go into, you know, the wilderness for miles and miles. And you can just take those trails and some beautiful lakes that you can go and visit and whatnot. Um, so overall really, really peaceful environment too. And that added to the peace. But like I said, like I, I, I never really, like I said, like I never really felt this peace like anywhere else that I went, any other any other college that I visited. Um, but like I said, but all, like I also said, like I also didn't feel the hundred percent peaceful. I didn't feel like a hundred percent at home um, until I went and I saw the business school. Um, and the business school that they have is called the Kelly School of Business at the at the University of Indiana at Bloomington. Um, and this is a this is a top ranked business school. I, I think it's top five among all the United States business schools um, and all the universities and stuff for business. I, I expected this thing to be like really really good. And, and honestly, saying that is even an understatement. Like I walked up to this thing. I walked up to the Kelly School of Business, and it was like. It was like three, I think it was like three buildings just attached to each other, um, and guys, I'll, I'll show you a video right now of just like the whole pan of like the entire business school. Hi. 
and I walk into the school, kind of like the uh, kind of like the informational tour in the beginning. We did a whole informational tour on just the uh, on just the business school itself. Like, just super, super great for opportunities. You know, they're, they're really greatly connected to a ton of huge, huge companies, um, like all around the world, um, and some of, like the top like top companies that you can think of. Like, you know, they have connections to them, and, and, and they've and they've had students that have gotten opportunities to go work for them. Like, tons of students being able to do that. And, I mean, like again. Like the business school was great, but I, I've I've also visited a ton of um, colleges that had really really great business schools. So I was like, you know, this isn't, this, you know, this is awesome and stuff like that. But you know, it's it's not really unlike any other, you know, business school and whatnot. Um, and then you know, the lady in the informational session, she started talking to us um, about like all the different majors. She was talking about you know the different aspects of the business school that they provide. And so I asked her a question about like some different stuff, and I saw that entrepreneurship was actually a major. Um, which was you know so awesome to see. So I, I asked a little bit. And I was like, are there any opportunities for entrepreneurs, you know, to to start their own business or do, to do some sort of competition or to you know, just get innovative with some of their ideas that they may have? Um, and and you know, and I had that question because like that's something that really you know that I thought you know that a lot of other colleges didn't really have that I was visiting and that I that I have visited. Um, and, and, she, and she was like, if you want to know more, we actually have a whole center for entrepreneurship. It's called the John. Johnson Center for Entrepreneurship. It's like in this building itself as well. Um, and she was like, definitely go check that out and, and, and go and go talk to them if you want to learn more about it. So I was like, you know, after the informational tour, like me and my dad, like we sprinted over there, you know, just to go check it out. Um, and, and it was real, and like, and, and I saw it. it was so awesome because I've never actually seen a college who have who has like an actual center just for entrepreneurship. Like they're that supportive of that program and of and of like of their entrepreneurs that you know they made a whole center for it. Yeah, you know, and that's so cool and like that made me feel really special as well um, because I know then I know like, I'm not the only entrepreneur that's gonna be there I'm not the only person who um, is interested in, in that niche so we walked to the Center for Entrepreneurship at the Indi at the University of Indiana at Bloomington and like you know there's a lady who greeted me at, who, who greeted me at the front desk and I was talking to her a little bit and this other lady came around and introduced herself to me and she was really really nice so I was talking to her I was just trying to get as much information from her as I can like just trying to absorb as much about the Center for Entrepreneurship as I can and honestly guys like she just described it you know to full extent and she just like she just went off on like all the amazing things um, that you know the Center for Entrepreneurship at at the University of Indiana at Bloomington like provides um, and guys like it, it, that the amount of support that that college gives to their entrepreneurs and to the people who are trying to start their own business is just it's just truly unlike anything I've ever seen at any other university I've, that I've visited or looked up or have you know generated an interest in like the amount of the amount of care that they have for these for their entrepreneurs the amount of care that they have um, for anyone that even has an idea you know like they they want to take that idea and help that student just grasp it and help that student actually make something with it and, and turn that idea into an actual reality and it's crazy because you know they you know for example like if you are trying to start your own business and you're really going all in and you're really serious like they'll give you a business coach it could be like a second year for someone who is in who is in the MBA MBA program, or it can be you know an actual entrepreneur that has done it himself. Like you almost get, they're almost giving you a mentor to help you and guides you on your journey through starting your business. And, and also just like if you ever like face some sort of problem, there's always going to be someone there um, that has faced that problem that can help you through that problem. Um, yeah, and, and and no matter what it is, you know, and, and like and it was so funny because they were you know, they were showing me you know the whole faculty for you know the people that work at the Center for Entrepreneurship and just people who work um, and teach the classes as well and, and these people were just you know so qualified and I'm not only saying like you know they have a master's or they have an MBA or like you know they've, they've done it or whatever but they've actually have w real world experience and whether that is in the whole business world and they've had a job and they've worked and they've worked their way up or they've started their own business like it's people who actually you know have ex real world experience in the world of you know business in the world of starting your own business some lady just some lady just got out and like looked at me. That was kind of weird. Sorry, <laughs> um, but I should probably move.
Because honestly, guys, like the hesitation for a lot of entrepreneurs and like going to college and that whole world of like, oh, you know, you shouldn't go to college if you're an entrepreneur. The big argument for that is like, oh, you know, you're not gonna learn stuff that you can actually, you know, apply or you're not gonna learn stuff uh, or, or you're gonna learn stuff that's just like from a textbook and from someone that hasn't actually done it in their real life. And like, you know, and I honestly thought that going into it, like that's how it's gonna be. Um, but after, you know, just touring the school and, and looking at the faculty and looking at the, and, and looking at the way that they teach the, the, you know, they teach your students um, it's just so impressive it's honestly like it's it's so you know up to date um, and, I, and I just love that you know they're not only just teaching you stuff from textbooks they're teaching you from real world experience um, and, and like I said like that's and, and I honestly feel like that's the only way that you can truly learn your entrepreneurship is either through doing it yourself or through or through learning it from someone who has already done it in their life you know and like, I was expecting to go to college and like find a you know some sort of a mentor that would help me and like you know guide me through you know my business and starting one and, and running one and helping it turn into a reality and like you know, building that up to become successful and impacting a ton of people and but it's just so amazing that that mentor is going to be on campus. That mentor could possibly be, that mentor could possibly be, you know, my teacher. That could possibly be, you know, someone that is in the center of entrepreneurship that's working there and helping kids, um, you know, developing their ideas. Like uh, guys, like it, it, there's just so much opportunity at this school. Um, and I mean, obviously, it's going to take a ton of work. And you know, they're not handing you, you know, the success. They're not handing you a successful business, you know, they're handing you opportunities to create that, but you still have to pull in the work to be able to do that. And like, honestly, once I left the room for the Center of Entrepreneurship, once I left the room for the Center of Entrepreneurship at the University of Indiana at Bloomington, I can say right now, like, I have not felt that like excited and, and that, you know, at home and that peaceful and that just like, you know, wanting to hustle in, like, in my entire life, you know what I'm saying, at, at a university. And like, that is a feeling that I know I want to have, you know, for the next four years of my life, you know what I'm saying, like when I'm done with my senior year, like, I, I don't know guys, like that might be, you know, my home, you know, for the next four years after my senior year. Like I, I may have just found my second home um, and, I, <laughs> And honestly, guys, I, I don't even know how to describe the feeling that I had, like, truly, like, to you guys. But I just want you guys to know because this is, you know, my journey and this is me documenting it. And this is a big part of my journey is you're discovering, you know, which college is right for me and my journey. Um, and, and honestly, guys, like, there was not a single better place that I feel like, you know, fits me and, and what my wants are and what, you know, I'm looking for in a college better than University of Indiana at Bloomington. And, like, I don't know, guys, like, just... As I was talking with that lady, she was just telling me about, you know, you know, they have this whole, you know, hatchery that you can apply for if your business gets to a certain level, you know, that you can apply for and you can get office space to start, you know, actually hustling and like running your business in like a certain area. Um, it, it's just like, you know, so many, so many different opportunities, guys. And like, um, like, and tr it's so unmatched, you know, to any other college I've ever looked at or that I've ever um, even, that I've ever visited, you know what I'm saying? And like, there's so much opportunity opportunity um it's like sitting there and i you know i just want to go out and grab it like i'm just so excited to be able to do that you know next year um and and, and I, you know hopefully i'm able to get in and hopefully i'm able to you know get into the business school as well um but obviously the, like i said this is my journey this is my whole documentation and i will be documenting this entire journey um and you know i will let it and i will let you know God lead me on the path that I need to be, that, I, that I'm supposed to be led on. You know what I'm saying? I will keep doing His will, um, and I will see where it takes me, guys. Um, but you know, I, and but I, you know, this is a huge part of my journey, um, because you know, this is a feeling I haven't really gotten at any other college that I visited. Like the, just that feeling of, you know, wanting to just go to that college and just put in all the work I can and just you know connect with people and meet with people and you know find mentors and find like-minded people um, and, and just like, you know figure out an idea and figure out something or figure out you know some sort of a business to start and make some money on and be able to impact people and this learning from this entire experience like I want to do that at the at the University of Indiana at Bloomington and like I just didn't have that same feeling at any other college um, and, and that's why I just feel like it's my second home. It could possibly be my next home for the, f for the next four years after my senior year. I just wanna say, you know, thank you guys for just being there for me on, on my journey. And I hope that, you know, maybe, maybe this maybe this video add, add a little bit of a value to you on, on maybe on your journey of, you know, um, of trying to figure out, you know, the next step in your life and, 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 and trying to figure out, you know, where, where you should go on your next step. And honestly, guys, like, it's so funny how, you know, 
when you walk into the place that you were meant to be in or, or you make a decision that you were supposed to make, like you have a sort of peace that, that, that comes along with that decision or comes along with that place. Um, because you know, th that same piece that, that I'm talking about is, is something that I experienced when I left that Center for Entrepreneurship, when I left that building, when I left, you know, that, when I left that whole city of Bloomington. Like I just felt a sort of peace that I've never felt before. I just have to apply and I have to you know, put in my resume and send them over my scores and I have to you know, write some essays and stuff like that. But um, I'll definitely be applying to the school and I, 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 you know, hopefully everything goes well. Um, but. That's, that's up to God. I just want to document this, like I said, because this is a huge part of my journey. This whole this whole journey of trying to find the college that's right for me, and I you know might have found the college that is right for me, and right for my journey, and right for you know the the path that I'm trying to go on in my life. And, the, and it seems like that college that I'm looking at, the, the University of Indiana at Bloomington, just supports you know who I am as a person, supports you know my you know my interests, my dreams, you know the, what I'm trying to truly do. Um, and, and overall, guys, like it's something that. I can't, I can't, that, that's really just unmatched by any other college that I've, that I've looked at or any other college that has generated any sort of interest in my life, you know. Me and my dad were leaving and we went to this one uh, really amazing restaurant. It was called Buffalo, Buffalo Louise. Um, and, I, and I posted this on my Instagram story, you know, the wings were insane there. But I was just talking to you know, a guy that, that lived in Bloomington, Indiana. He was a senior in high school as well, like, just like me. And he was telling me you know, that, that University of Indiana Bloomington was like his dream school. He's been wanting to go there since, you know, since he was a young kid. Um, and, and honestly, he, you know, he was just telling me about the whole school and about the whole business school and about you know, just the amount of opportunity that's there. And just, he was also talking to me about you know, just the amount of events, the amount of you know, just ways to get involved in the school with different clubs and different places and different and different events that they have and they put out that that you know students put on that faculty puts on and after talking with him like it was, it really just solidified that you know that is where uh, like that that is where I felt most at home you know I'm like like I, like even connecting with this one guy like I I may see him around he was he was like honestly like such a nice and genuine guy like you know and that was one guy that I met at Bloomington the entire like it, that was like one kid that I met at Bloomington the entire time and it just like it, it, he was just so nice and kind and maybe that is what I'm supposed to be you know what I'm saying I, personally I don't know um, but only you know only God has that plan for me and I can't wait to see you know what what he has um, in store for me in my journey so uh, so yeah, guys. I mean, I, I really can't wait, and I um, and uh, I, I really am interested to see how this all plays out in a couple months, in a couple, and, and even in a couple of years. You know, I'm saying like, you know, will I be at that college by next year? But by by this time, like next year, like you know, I don't know. But um, again, I just gotta keep doing my thing, gotta keep hustling, gotta keep you know pursuing my dream, gotta keep doing what I love, um, and keep right, making the right moves and. and and hopefully I will be at where I'm supposed to be at, you know. And I think having that faith is, is so important in anything you're trying to do in life. So yeah, guys, just you know, you know, that I mean that's what I can say. It's just you know, whenever you, whenever you're trying to make a decision, or whether, whether, whenever you're trying to, whenever you're trying to make a decision, the right decision that you need to make is the one that makes you most peaceful in your life. Um, and hopefully, you know, this works out. So ho I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for being there for me. Hopefully I have a safe ride home and stuff like that. Hopefully I can, um, I get to, I get, I get home in one piece. But, uh, <laughs> but thank you again for being on, being, being with me, um, you know, in this hotel right now. You know, at, uh, I think it's like, let's see, 10.07, not too, too late. But, uh, but you guys, hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Keep loving the process. And I will see you guys later. Love you guys. Bye.